a quick follow-up to the Shinya Tsukamoto video because I babbled on and on and on and that was a bit lengthy um, still if you're a Tsukamoto fan I thought these needed some follow-up and there might be some spoilers in this one so bullet ballet <laughs> He eventually ends up making his own gun that goes horribly wrong. He is so gun obsessed during that point that he uh, watches on his computer, I think, and his TV imagery of extreme violence, and he keeps posing with his gun and acting all manner of goofy. Just imagine a skinny, nerdy, repressed type with the power of a gun, and a lot of the stuff flashing on screen and the hard-hitting music is to give you an idea of what he's envisioning in his head and the power that he he feels so there's like images of nuclear explosions and guns going off and war and such and he just he goes out of control and he ends up messing around with a gang and the yakuza get involved and people that one person there's not a whole bunch of guns because they try to get somewhat realistic that guns are a rarity in japan but a hitman ends up involved <laughs> and, and it goes how you would figure um <laughs> great stuff uh the the imagery the shinya sukamoto imagery in this one comes forth and the the crazy music whenever he's got his gun and he's letting it go to his head uh for the most part the rest of it is just a really well done story Tokyo Fist barely holds the story. It is almost like the craziness of Tetsuo. Explosions, over-the-top, loud noises, crazy music, violence and action just drilled into your eyeballs at a crazy pace. Um, it, and then it'll slow down for a little bit of story here and there, and then boom, hits you again. And the violence is really over-the-top Tsukamoto face exploding stuff it's great um, although I didn't like that one part the uh, portions of the love triangle Tetsuo 2 uh, it is Tetsuo you'll get your dose of crazy artsy almost an industrial music video at the same time slows down just enough to tell you what is going on in this series to give you an idea the music isn't as unique, isn't as strong, and isn't as in your face as the other two. So it's kind of weird that this has hammer in the title because it doesn't hammer into you, the music. And the music's a little bit more generic and repetitive in this. Still good, though, the music and the overall effect of this one. And it's a must if you're a Tetsuo fan. So hopefully that update helps you guys. Uh, the imagery in this... You know, while while it does slow down in this one, it still keeps the Tsukamoto feel. It still is that powerful, artsy shot and imagery that is modern, industrial-style art. This one is not quite as strong as this one, so, yeah. Um, but it's still there. And then, of course, out of the three, Bullet Ballet is the least crazy explosion of Shinya Tsukamoto in your face, but it's it's still there. I mean, he really does just explode off of the screen, grabs you by the ears, and screams roaring into your face with all sorts of wild, action-packed, artistic, beautiful, raw, crazy energy. Uh violence, um, extremes of emotion just running wild across the screen. It's, it's art on energy drinks. Yeah. <laughs> it's art on 15 pots of coffee. That's Shinya Tsukamoto. And I do appreciate slower, softer films, and I do love more mundane, like, samurai dramas. Those are my favorite style of movies. Yet Shinya Tsukamoto is my favorite director. There's something, he, he can do this heart-pounding art like no other. And Snake of June does have its slow romantic moments. I mentioned Snake of June uh, probably frequently in the last video. 
because it is the most romantic movie I've ever seen, other than one out of place scene. So he can do slow. He can he can do slow and still keep his full of energy. I, I don't know. It's just Sukamoto. There's there are multiple books on his directing style. Then there's a reason for that. So that was the follow up, and of course the camera's out of focus again. Hopefully, uh, those of you that didn't get enough Shinya Sukamoto being said over and over and over in the last video didn't this one. Uh, if not, hey, leave comments. I, I'll go on about that director all, all freaking forever. <laughs> Till the computer melts.